Here it is, the Montessori Pink Series Workbook, an open and go solution for teaching beginning reading the Montessori way. So this corresponds with the beginning reading. So your child will already ha need to know um, the 25 phonetic letter sounds of the alphabet. And we only work with the main letter sound. And in the beginning, I'll show you this. This goes hand in hand with the Montessori reading games that I have in my shop, level one. Um, but it also can be done after the reading games are complete because there is a ton of hands-on practice in the reading game. So you can complete that or you can work using this alongside the reading games. So I will show you the, the sounds that your child needs to know. So for a as an apple, bat, cat. So there are several sounds that a can make. So a can say a, 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 um, but in this case, we only need it to say a, a for apple. Same thing like octopus. We're not going to say the long O, we're just going to say the short O. So there will just be a single sound for all 25 alphabet letter sounds. So we're going to do Q in the green series workbook. Um, so we're not doing Q, Q, U. And here is a page where you, that you can use to test your child's knowledge of the alphabet sounds. And your child doesn't need to know that this says B, that this is a B, that this is a C or a D. Your child just needs to look at this and be able to say A, E, I, A, A, B, K, D, F, G. So, um, that the reading games covers that. So if your child's not there yet, I would suggest starting with the reading games. If your child is there and you're looking for the next level, then this workbook is for you. This comes in a digital download or a print version. Let me show you. So this is digital download printed on um, 110 pound cardstock. So it's just thicker paper. It works really well on regular workbook paper too. Let me show you that. Here is the printed. So it comes, it's, it comes printed like this on really nice paper. And you can see kind of the difference. It's thin, but it's, I think this is 28 pound paper. So it's not super thin. You can't really see through to the other side very well. And the colors are nice and vivid. And this is great if you want something already printed for you. Okay, so let me do a flip through to show you kind of the progression. We start with easier three letter, sound. we do three letter words in this whole workbook. And we start with word reading and then picture matching. I have already, these are already cut out and ready to be matched. Your child can place them and then put them back or glue them down depending on how you're using the workbook. You can also take these out, laminate them, use them as shelf work. So, here we have pictures already on here, words that get matched underneath each picture. This, we incorporate writing. Um, my child needs help writing and it's you can do two things. You can invite your child to write using a pencil, using properly written letters. On the back here of the printed workbook is your handwriting guide, and this is italic font. And it's very common in like a Montessori environment to use this kind of font. I am working on publishing a cursive version of this too, but this is a great um, kind of gateway between the cursive and the print. So we also like this font. So to practice writing, your child can have a uh, this out or um, use a movable alphabet to put it in the spot. You can be the scribe. There are options on here. I have that all written out for you. And there's a double-sided uh, version of this in each unit. And then, so your child will come up with the letters. Your child can write it in a movable alphabet above and then copy it on here or just write from memory depending on his or her preference. And then you can cut them out if you'd like, and your child can make his own book. So kids at this age are really into making booklets. So a lot of the activities on here are 
making booklets and they're all in order. So everything, like I say, open and go. Yes, you may need to cut out a booklet or cut apart these strips, but you literally go from page to page, from lesson to lesson and progress through this workbook with different activities and different lessons. So here are secret words. There'll be pages that they'll, they're cutting lines that you can cut across and then fold them in half, fold them over. So then your child, there's some games I have suggested up here, but then your child will just reveal one word at a time and sound it out and say it to you. And then over here on the next page is an action game. So all you'll do is you'll flip these out and then you will fold them the opposite direction, reveal one at a time, and your child will act out that action or thing. Now here we have booklets. So this does not, this is obviously not a mat. This is not sat. Um, we have our pink booklets. So after you cut them, you stack them on top of each other and you fold them and then you can staple them down the spine and your child can read the booklet. So mat, sat, and these aren't stapled. I definitely would suggest stapling them. Cat, and then you can keep all of these little booklets that your child has read. There are a total of five booklets and three early readers that go along with this curriculum. And they're all within the pages. You don't have to buy anything separate. So after your booklet practice, here's your next lesson. And I would suggest doing it in like a different setting. Um, and it's a draw and write lesson. So your, uh, there'll be a prompt of something your child should draw and then an area to write down here. Kind of like you're starting to write sentences or stories, yet this is not, um, we're not talking yet about proper sentence structure. Your child is just starting to put some thoughts together by telling a story. This can be done with the movable alphabet first and then copied with the movable alphabet and then mom can copy or with the movable alphabet, you can take a picture of it print out the picture and tape it on here for your child's work. And then your child will have a nice drawing that he did himself and a, a story that he wrote himself, either with print in a pencil or with the movable alphabet somehow. We have list making and like an actual hands-on activity connecting real life with words that you write on the paper. So, there's, these are really fun and there are, I think six of them in here, maybe five, five or six, and they're gonna be at the end of the unit. Unit six is a little different because we get into the readers. So, and then um, unit two is very similar, but we add some different letter sounds. Just progressing, moving kind of in the same order as the Montessori reading games that I have published, but very repetitive here through the first five units. No, this actually does have pictures on it. Let's see. Um, another draw and write, another list making activity, and then more of the same. Just gets a little bit more complicated, a little bit more difficult. We move into reading phrases in the booklets instead of reading single words. Draw and write again. And then we have our reading lists. So there are seven reading lists for rhyming words. And you have like, or actually nine reading lists. And there are check marks for each list. So you can assign one in a day. Your child may be interested in reading all nine of them in one sitting. So if you're following the Montessori philosophy, you may um, do one and be done, or you may do all nine. So then we have lessons, unit six is a little bit different. So it starts with these um, phrases and picture matching and then picture and phrases. And then we have our beginning readers. And what they look like is this. So they're all real photographs, no cartoons. Um, and then I actually have created a space where you can store them within your notebook. I like everything to be able to stay in one space 
and you can place them on your shelves as needed, but then at least you have everything together. Um, this would just be cut and folded up. I show you in a different part of the video how to do that. And then that's it. So they, your child will be able to read three different books. And then in this one, which this has kind of been updated since the second version. And I did want to show you at the end, there's a little letter and certificate of completion. And then after the pink series will come the blue series workbook, which is kind of like four letter words. You'll have blends like um, k, l, cl, and I'll have like tips for how to teach your child how to blend. I have tips in here for how to, to teach your child how to blend when reading, when starting out reading. And, um, and then we can go into the green reading games. So reading games level two, and then the green series reading workbook. So all of that is coming up. And I hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, email, message me. I'd be happy to hear from you.